Hello, and I am Gorpunk here at the Gorius Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at Twitch and Twitter at Gorius Punk, and yes, another Mario Maker level. And this one is by the same guy that did uh, the Zelda levels beyond the Great Plateau and the Great Plateau. Uh, Rasharm, I, I don't even know if I pronounced that Pokemon's name right, but Rasharm52. And this one is, says Fallout 3 Open World. And what, out of all the Fallout games that came out, 3 was the one I had so many hours in. I had three different saves doing everything. I had almost every achievement unlocked other than the DLC, but it's one of my favorite Fallout games because you're in Washington, D.C. So it has all that, uh, you know, the Washington, D.C. stuff based into it, like Lincoln's Memorial and all that awesome stuff to play. So if you've never played Fallout 3, definitely check it out, but... Here we go, it says there are 10 big coins. You must collect at least 5 dedicated to AJ-V. I don't know what that is, AJ-V must be a maker, but how about we click play and jump right in. Oh, it's based off the little uh, original Mario. I'll reach a go after grabbing at least 5 through 30 coins, is that what that said? Or five coins that say 30, okay, yes. So I gotta at least get five coins that say 30. And I've played Fallout 3 a lot, so if there's anything that even re resembles it, I'll probably think. All I'm thinking right now is, uh, I must be in like a vault, and I'm breaking out the vault. This is very creepy, already, how it's all. I can't go that way. Let's get our firepower. Our fire gun. Oh, blast them away. Blast those mutants away. Okay, let's get some of these mutant plants out of here. And we got a key. Looks like we gotta go down here. Oh, somebody just broke something. Okay, our first key. Is that gonna take us up there? It did. Nice. Okay, we got an on and off switch. Oh, we just broke the barrier. Unless this was the vault opening. I don't know. I'm just guessing. There's the axe, but it's... I did not know you could hit the axe. So the axe is resembles from Mario 1 when you're about to beat Bowser, you gotta jump over him and jump on the axe and the floor f disappears and then Bowser dies. But the dotted lines means that you gotta unlock it somehow. I did not know you could hit the axe in here. I've only made one Mario level. Oh wow. So now we're out of the vault and it's even set up kind of like a little lump like a vault and it's windy because we're in the wasteland desert. And... It it's open world, so we just, we haven't even found a coin yet. It looks like a sandstorm keeps on coming. So we gotta be careful. See, I don't know how we would get that. How would we get that? I don't know anything that can break those blocks. Oh man, I hate axe th hammer throwers. I really hate the hammer dudes. I thought he was gonna jump on me. Waiting for, waiting for him to jump down. Because of that cannon. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now we go. Okay, there's another key, and there's a key up there. Oh my gosh, we got a boss down there. See, and Mario Maker, you can actually kill the bosses by just shooting at them. And originally, the only way to get them is by jumping on them. Yeah, I want to get this key. Actually, a nice open world. Oh, we got a chomp. I love chomps. Oh my gosh! I did not know we can carry more than one key. 
There's like tunnels everywhere. Are those different bots? Okay, we got our first key. So what is this? What does this say over here? R R52? Is that what this is? Or RS2? Ah, his name. The Risham 52. I never can say that right. I'm scared to even jump down. Oh, okay, good. It was this, uh, <laughs> we're still in the same area. Okay, there's a switch. Oh, man. This game is blowing me so much. Oh, okay, I see a blue tunnel right here. Okay, so we should go in here and see if it takes us to that blue tunnel above us. And it did. Okay, so now we got two out of the five coins. So we can get a head shell. So we got our armor. Dude, that looks so cool. Oh man, I forgot you can do that. That always scares me when I hit down. I forget you can, uh, like, I wonder if that you can avoid enemies like that. If they're about to walk into you, you just, oh, I got my armor. Just like I would in uh, Fallout 3. Got my armor on. Oh, you can break that like that? I did not know that. I want to kill this boss. This is like our fourth time killing this dude. Okay. So there's another tunnel right there. You gotta be careful because the storm will kick up at the worst time. Skeletons always come back. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got three out of the five. These <laughs> cannons have been on my screen for a while. Okay, let's see what's in here. This is actually really cool. For being an open kind of world, Mario level, that would be really hard if every Mario game, like Super Mario World, all redone. But every level is kind of open world, so it's not like you just go to the end or go from down and up. You just, you gotta find out stuff. Oh man, I probably needed what's in there. I don't know how you take off helmets, but this helmet is definitely saving me. get this guy. Because that keeps on hitting that. Is there an enemy right here? Oh man. I guess let's go up and see what we can do. What? We had a time limit. I can't take this helmet off though. I'm trying. Oh, I just lost that. Ugh, my throat's going out. Oh wait, can I smash it downward like I just did? No. Yeah, I did not know there was a time limit and now there... There we go. Does that actually break the stuff? Yes, it does. Okay, we gotta run. I need one more coin, and I didn't know there was a time limit for this open world level. I did not know that. Ooh. I got 40 seconds to even get to the end. It ain't gonna happen. Is this just repeating? I think I needed that on. Nope. 
19 seconds left. Wow, I gotta do this whole level over again. This whole level over again. Wow! I hate when times run out in levels. So that means we gotta be fast on this level. I did not think there would even be a time limit in an open world level, but it means we just gotta think quicker. I'm pretty sure I had to go down here. Almost died there. So at least I know where some stuff is, so we just gotta be quick about it, guys. Oh wow. I, every time I see that open area, I just think I'm gonna fall. Okay, no messing around. We gotta get these five coins and get to the end. When I'm worried about the end, it looks like the end is actually in this area. See how it shows the dotted thing right here? See? So that means I gotta come back to this area in the open world Fallout 3. So all the way up here, I gotta go. So let's go in here first. Okay, we got that guy. Let's get our coin. Our first coin, we're doing it like backwards now. And we had like five, six minutes. See, the coins blink once you hurt them. So you gotta be quick. Oh, there's a coin up there. Now we got a different hammer on. How do you get up there? Okay. I'm not even gonna check it to see if I can get up there. It must be a different tunnel somewhere. Okay, we gotta go this way finally. Okay, I can't break that without the spiky shield. Here's another tunnel. Okay, let's get in this tunnel! Okay, this is one of them that I was at that I died, right? I know one of the coins is at the end. So since it's open world, that means there's multiple coins you could get in this area. Oh man. Hey, Kitty Bowser. <laughs> Dodge his hammer. Okay, so we gotta get this switch now. At least you can get like... See, I did it a totally different way than before I died. And I'm getting coins faster. So is this where I came uh, in at? Okay, three out of five, we need two more coins. I can't remember where I got that head spike at. Oh, it must be down here somewhere. It must be in this tunnel where I got the spiky head. Okay, we only need one more coin, and I just need that helmet to get it. Which is right here. That was weird. <laughs> I, put on, I put it on. Okay. So there is somewhere, I think, to the right? That I had a coin. Are you serious? Alright, so serious. Okay, let's run. That wind keeps on blowing me. I just don't want to die with this helmet on. Okay, here it is. So that's our last coin. Now we just gotta find the exit and get out of here. This is a lot of stuff to this level. See, I did this time a totally different. And look it. Oh! We beat the Fallout 3 open world Mario level. Which... I died, I actually I ran out of time the first time, and the second time I did it totally different. So if you see any uh, levels that say open world, that means there's multiple ways you could beat it. And this one was really awesome guys, you, you gotta check it out. So, 
So it's by Rishram again, just like that did the Zelda levels, the Great Plateau, or Beyond the Great Plateau, but this is Fallout 3's open world based on Pilot like coming out of the vault and you're in the wasteland. But the course ID is 1JC. 8JY 3JF and I am Gore Punk here at the Gorius Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at Twitch and Twitter at Gorius Punk and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out!